Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So again, if you're not a member, please join and have access to the Z-Code VIP Club section that I have up here. And you'll have all the great tools to help you win. So we're going to get started here with the second week of the NFL season. And there are a lot of great games in store, so we'll get started here at looking at a few of these matchups. So we're going to scroll down through here and see what we got. So we'll start with the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. The Bills had a solid win in their opener, while the Dolphins fell by 10 points. See, Buffalo is a 1.41 to 2.95 favorite in this game. See, Buffalo currently is ice cold up, and you see Miami is average down at the moment. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you will notice here that they started the season, Miami was at plus 28, and Buffalo was at plus 10. Now that obviously is going to change after what happened in week one. That shows you where the two teams started opening the season. If you're considering the over and under, which happens to be, if you look up here at the top, you see that the over and under for this one here is at 40.5. If you look here over the left, total over 40.5. And if you take a look at that, as far as what we're going to do, well, Buffalo is trending in games playing under the line. And Miami trending in games playing over the line. So it's best to avoid the over under in this situation. So how do we feel about the two teams as far as winning the game? Well, first of all, I want to just show you something here that's going to help. We're going to take it the line reversals, and we're going to look at Buffalo versus Miami. You see this game right here. If you see here, the money line is started at 1.41, and currently is back to 1.41. So there's really no change there. So we're not going to have any kind of uh, big difference as far as what we would normally think as far as the way the trending is going for this game. We're looking for big changes, and there really is no big change in this money line. So what I'm thinking here is that the Bills will probably keep the trend going as far as their winning ways against Miami. They won both games last season. I expect that to continue, so pick Buffalo to win this one. Take a look at the second matchup, the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Both teams start new quarterbacks this season, and both are coming up opening week losses. The Buccaneers are heavy favorites in this one, though, if you see... Is 1.26 to 3.94. Carolina is dead at the moment, and and Tampa Bay has an average down status. The over under in this one here is 48.5. How confident should we be betting the over under? But well, let's take a look at the totals predictor. You see that Carolina trending in games playing well over the line, and uh, Tampa Bay is also. So that is a very strong indication that this will be a high scoring affair. Bet the over in this one with a lot of confidence. If you look at the power rankings indicator between the two teams, you can see starting the season, Tampa Bay was at plus 19. Carolina is at plus 5. So heavy favorites in that category as well for Tampa Bay. Take a look at the line reversals. Again, let's go to the next game. We want to go down. If you see here, we're looking for the matchup. And here it is, Carolina and Tampa Bay. I'm seeing any kind of big trends. And I see it opened at uh, 1.26. It's currently 1.23. So it's going down slightly. Not much of a difference, but still heavy favorites for Tampa Bay. I expect Tampa Bay to win this one rather easily as Tom Brady will get the offense moving more fluidly. And I think they will win without much difficulty. Next game you want to look at is... Scroll down through here. Lots of games, full slate of games on, on tap. Here's New, New York Giants in Chicago. We're not looking at that one. San Francisco and New York Jets. Here we go. Los Angeles Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Rams are coming off a solid win over the Dallas Cowboys, while the Eagles blew a 17-point lead against Washington for a devastating opening day loss. The over-under in this one is 45.5. The Rams are burning hot at the moment, and they have a slight... Uh, Edge on the odds here, 1.85 to 1.995 are the Eagles who are average stats. And in fact, that line has changed a little bit more significantly than the others. If we look at the line reversals, Philadelphia started as the favorite this week. Uh, and in just a day, you can see that it has changed. I'm going to show you here. You see that here? The money line started here. 
down around negative 1.94, around 1.94, excuse me, and now it's at 1.847. So that's a good indication for the Rams. If you look at the uh, power ranking indicator, you see that the Eagles is trending downward, of course, after their game, 21. The Rams at plus 17. Look at the over and under in this one. The Rams are playing in games trending under the line. The Eagles are playing in games trending under the line as well. So playing the under is a wise choice in this one. I know the trend is a little bit more for the Rams to win this game. But just a gut feeling on this one. The Eagles usually bounce back after a poor performance. And they're playing at home. They are very good at home. I know they don't have the crowd behind them right now. But still, they're very good at home. And I am going with the Eagles to win, actually. Probably by a field goal and look for that to happen late in the game. One more matchups to look at here. We've got the Baltimore Ravens at the Houston Texans. This could be the game of the week here. The Ravens are coming off a 32 point win while the Texans fell by 14 in their opener. Now, it's a big disparity, but I don't think it'll be as nearly as wide of a margin of victory for Baltimore if they win or Houston if they lose. You can see here, though, that Baltimore is burning hot at the moment. Houston is averaged down, and the odds are well in the Ravens' favor at 1.31 to 3.46, with an over-under of 51.5. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see they started the season with plus 16 for Baltimore and plus 19 for Houston. Now, that obviously will change after last week's performances. The totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under in this one, Baltimore playing in games trending under the line in general, and so is Houston. And I think with uh, Baltimore's very, very difficult defense to, to move the ball against, it's going to be a lower scoring game in general, so I would bet the under. If you're looking for any kind of line reversals, let's take a look to see if there's any has been any kind of movement in the line. We look at Baltimore and Houston right here. You can see it's been steady. Actually, slightly downward even more in favor of Baltimore. It was 1.41, but not a big change down to 1.31. Still a very strong indication that Baltimore will win, and they should walk away with this win. Not nearly by as much as last week, but they should definitely win the ball game. And we are going to take, it one, take a look at one more game. And it's the New England Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks. New England is coming off a victory with Cam Newton under center, which was 10 points over Miami. Seattle was a 38-25 winner over the Falcons. Both teams are average at the moment. You see the over-under is at 44.5. Um, Seattle has a 1.59, a 2.35 favorite as far as the odds go, as you can see right here. If you're looking at the power ranking indicator, New England's at plus 23. Seattle's at plus 15. But again, you can take those with a little bit of grain of salt because there really isn't much showing as far as what happened since week one. Looking at the totals predictor for an over and under, New England is playing in games trending over the line. And so is Seattle. So here's a good indication, again, to bet the over. Seattle has a strong defense, but I think they're going to score pretty well against New England, and that probably will be the one to push it over. So I'm looking definitely for Seattle to win this ball game, maybe even by a touchdown. But I'm going to take a look here again at the line reversal, see if there has been any kind of big movement as far as the line goes. Take a look here. You see it opened at 1.59, and now it's at 1.592. There hasn't been much of a change in the line. Nothing drastic to indicate that we're going to go in the opposite direction as far as the way our picks go. So we're going to go with Seattle to win this one. So there you have it. Those are the picks for this week. Hope you enjoy. Have a great week, and we will see you next time.